Ann Arbor, A Christmas Story. Twas the days before Christmas and cold winds were blowing, some stuck in the street with construction ongoing. The children were happy inside of their homes, all their wishes were answered as schools were all closed. Many took to the cold and made use of the snow. Little igloos were made as snow piles got to grow. But for those in their houses with time on their hands, they were calling up Santa with season's demands. We're sick of this weather, there's nothing to do. We want something fun and we want something new. They huffed and they puffed as they shuffled indoors, tucked close to the flames as their fireplaces roared. Meanwhile, Santa waited with eyes on his wrist, his watch ticking by as he laid out his list. Like those in the town, he was getting upset, for his favorite day ever hadn't come about yet. Santa Claus understood what it's like to stay waiting, so he wrote a letter, his ink and quill shaking. He asked his best elf to deliver it fast, as he worried the calm and the weather won't last. Delivered by Rudolph to the violin monster, unsure if the other was just an imposter, they both came together to act as the mailer of Santa's big letter to Christopher Taylor. Right here, wrote Santa, are fun things to do, to keep Christmas cheer without turning it blue. Some events that we hope will keep everyone merry, to distract from the blizzards that keep the roads scary. Ann Arbor residents took to their screen, preferably CTN's Channel 16, to hear what the mayor had read from Chris Kringle at the next city council where citizens mingled. And as they all sat and discussed different theories, they also heard news of occurrences clearly. Like actors performing downtown and nearby, free exercise classes to take at the Y, the art museum showing their newest creations with U of M kindly accepting donations, the library hosting events for the youth, and the neutral zone's music they craft in the booth. Soon many were leaving to figure out more, others gave up and were hitting the stores, until no one was left but the council and press, when the mayor did finally give his address. I could tell you what Santa had wrote to the crowd, but I sense that his letter doesn't matter right now. For the moral I found at this point in the book, is there's so much to do if you're willing to look. Go share what you know, and seek out what's expressed. You may find Ann Arbor will leave you impressed. So give thanks to the people keeping spirits alive. Happy holidays, Ann Arbor, from Ward 1 to Ward 5.